интересно подремонтировать. Есть все в Гильсон Центре на концерт Digital Planet. Outside of the life skills classrooms, Hemfield students are finding ways to impact those with disabilities. Last spring, four Hemfield students involved in the communications technology program submitted a video that would make them eligible to travel to Russia, a place students rarely have the opportunity to visit. The video submission led to not only a trip to Russia, but the chance to collaborate with Russian students to produce a new show focusing on disability-related issues. So last November, we found out about the original contest for um, the Russia TV Bridge, and we entered that contest because we thought it would be a really good opportunity and a really good way to grow our program. So we ended up entering that. We came in second. We didn't win. So then another opportunity was presented to us where we had another chance to travel to Russia. So we entered that, and we ended up winning. And then this past summer, we went to Russia. We wanted to make an impact on this ComTech program, and um, we wanted to, you know, push ourselves as far as we could. This opportunity was presented to us and we were like, hey, let's go ahead and let's take this opportunity. I remember running through the halls, really excited. DPTV is run by a group called the Social Expertise Exchange, which is part of a larger group called the Eurasia Foundation. They created this web-based program, DPTV, in order to provide an opportunity for students in both countries to address advocacy for people with disabilities. The whole focus of Disability Partnership Television is to develop connections and relationships related to disabilities and portray them through media. Our mission throughout all of it is to build a world where inclusion is there for everybody with disabilities, where they are integrated into the same life as people without disabilities. Bailey, Jack, Joel, and Kaylee flew to Russia to work on the show. While there, they formed relationships with their Russian counterparts and were able to experience an often misunderstood culture. We were all surprised that it was actually very similar. There were differences as far as some of the um, ideas and beliefs that people had, but we got there and not only were the people nice, but they were willing to be our friends. All these, all these stigmas and uh, stereotypes that we were told about before we went, we couldn't see them. I was surprised how emotional I was when I was standing in Red Square. It was so hard for me to explain to my teenage students how unlikely it was that I was standing there. Because when I grew up, there was no Russia, there was the USSR. <laughs> Being an international collaboration is such a fantastic idea, and I think that draws a lot of people to come and watch our show. If it were just Americans, I feel like it wouldn't be as spectacular or as different. But working with the Russian students brings something special to the show. Collaborating with the Russian students is different than just collaborating with the American students because it allows us to work with students that have experienced a different part of the world and they've grown up seeing and hearing and experiencing different things than we have. Collaborating with students living in another country is not without its difficulties. It's been a little difficult working with people that speak a different language. Um, just because there's obviously that language barrier. General communication sometimes is challenging. They are 5,000 plus miles away from us. That's a lot of distance. The Hemfield students also realized the different challenges in treatment people with disabilities face in Russia. One of the girls that works on the project with us, her name is Ksenia, she's in a wheelchair. And one of the things she told us about was that in Russia, public transportation is not as spacious as it is here. So finding a spot on on the trams or the buses or whatever is kind of difficult. They have a lack of experience and a lack of knowledge related to what they're supposed to be doing alongside people with disabilities, how they're supposed to incorporate them into today's society. Really, I wish people would just look past their disability or look past their differences and just realize that it's just a, another person that they can walk and talk with. We want them to be right there alongside with us because even though they may have a disability, they're people just like us. I would love to see the show bring a community into realizing that they are very similar to us. The creations of these videos have really given our students an opportunity to do something bigger than we've ever done here at Hempfield. Standing in Red Square became a little bit emotional because I saw that experiences like this meant to bring countries together was actually bringing countries together. And I was watching the world change. Although they live on two different continents, the Hemfield and Russian students are working for one purpose, to spread awareness for those with disabilities. For Hemfield Happenings, I'm Julia Campbell.